Hello and welcome back to another video from TNC Toy Tractors. Today I have the 164 scale Ertl New Holland T9700 Prestige Edition. A little bit about the New Holland T9700. It was built between 2014 to present, manufactured in Fargo, uh, Fargo North Dakota. Has an MSRP starting around $755,000. It is powered by a 12.9 liter, 787 cubic inch FPT Cursor TST, two stage turbocharged, intercooled and after cooled, six cylinder, 24 valve liquid cooled diesel engine. It is rated at 620 engine horsepower has a max engine horsepower rating of 682 has a PTO horse rate has a PTO horsepower rating of 473 and has a draw bar horsepower rating of 531 has an ultra command full power shift 17 forward to reverse transmission has a 480 gallon fuel tank with a 66 gallon diesel exhaust fluid tank. Can have a thousand PTO and weighs between 44,000, 46 pounds up to 66,000 pounds. This toy came from MS Implement in Harrisburg, Illinois. I want to thank them. Um, I know I've here recently been showing the business cards and different things. But it's because I'm actually thankful for these people that I've talked to at these dealerships. I'm thankful that they've been really nice and uh, really interested in my YouTube channel that I'm growing. And, you know, they seem genuinely uh, interested in what I'm doing. And uh, I plan on continuing to do business with them because they're nice people. And whenever nice people do nice things and you know whatnot you want to kind of say hey thank you well here's the way you can kind of say thank you just show their business card in your video you know give them a little bit of a shout out or what have you so and that's kind of what i'm doing here like i said the guys there are really nice to me every time i go in there i've been in there a handful of times bought a handful of things from them toys and whatnot so um i thank you to them super nice people go check them out if you can so, uh, we'll get into the toy here. Uh, this is the Prestige Edition, as you can see. Um, just, you know, we'll take a look at the box here. <clears throat> this is something I'm glad Ertl has started doing, is they've started really stepping up their box game, uh, like Speccast has, you know. Uh, these toys are starting to look really good in the box or out of the box. This one will be displayed out of the box. Um, you know, it's a great looking tractor. And I love how they have actually really started to make nice boxes for these. So, and we'll just kind of show you the box here. You know, your normal stuff. Pretty neat tractor, pretty nice display box to have it in. So we're going to pause the video here. As you can see, I actually have the brochures for this tractor in the background. Yeah, it shows the tracked version on the front of the brochure, but uh, it is for this tractor too. So we'll kind of do some adjusting here. So let's get this out of the box and we'll talk about it here. All right, now we're back. I got it out of the box and everything. We'll go ahead and zoom in here. Uh, this one, I'm going to go ahead and start off by saying I don't know why New Holland is like this and not the K-SIH, even though I know they're the same tractor. But for some reason on the New Holland, these mirrors and stuff come pre-installed. Um, on the K-SIHs, these mirrors are in like a little bag in the box but for some reason on the new holland they already came installed kind of interesting um which is good i mean not really there i ain't really got to mess with them or anything but a uh, pretty neat weight setup i like that really i like the full weight setup on a tractor i think it really looks neat 
the paint and the tires are on point. The tires look great. Nice beefy tires on there. Um, full weight setup here in the back. And you can see a PTO here. And then you have your hydraulic outlets there. And then your slow moving vehicle decal. And you got your... Uh, your uh, PLM, as they call it, your uh, land, your, uh, I forget what they call it, land, something land management. But I think it's close to the same thing as like an AFS connect. Long story short, this is your GPS receiver up here on top of the cab. Uh, here you have your intake and your exhaust over here. Um, not a bad looking tractor. The decals... Are a little bit different this year um, for like the New Holland here I know you can barely see that but it's not bad um, I'll, something I wish they'd start kind of doing maybe they will um, in the future but I know it's to cut down on costs but a little bit more of realistic headlights on these I think would be a nice touch um, I know I've seen guys that are taking these, um, I know on the For the Love of Tractors Discord, I forget the guy's name, but he just absolutely loves New Hollands and he completely decks them out. Um, actually has a few where you can open up the hood and the engine's actually there and everything. And he puts LSWs on them and stuff like that. Now I have a set of LSWs. I plan on putting on one of these um, that I got from uh, Precision Engineer Replicas. I've got to get around to painting and um, taking the donor tractor apart and stuff like that. So, uh, some details inside the cab here. Uh, you can see, let's see there if we can get it. Oh, let's see if we can get it clear up here. You can see the New Holland emblem there on the seat. Um, unfortunately you have a frisbee for a steering wheel, uh, cab lights and everything, decals, uh, fender lights. You have these painted pieces back here, which are okay, I guess at best. Um, I know some guys are getting the 3d printed ones and putting on here, but these are okay. I guess, you know, for. This tractor was only like $25, so I mean, you're not going to really get a lot for that. Yeah, it's a nice model. Um, I'd like to see more New Holland, different models and whatnot, but, um, you know, for the price, you can't really expect too much, I guess. I know you can add details to these and just make them look really uh, more realistic, uh, but this is what you have to work with for now. Uh, mild, realistic looking lights on the cab here and on the cab here and here. And like always with the Case IH, you have the wipers that are just molded into the glass here. Um, not a lot. I mean, I, I don't know what kind of detail you'd be hoping for as far as like with the cab, but more realistic cab details I think would be neat. You can see a decal there for the operator controls. Um, you know, so not a lot of detail on the underneath. Take a look there. You know, not a lot here. Nice tractor. Um, we, I think the wheels and tires are pretty on point. Gives it a nice beefy look. Um, if you're into more of the wheel and tire setup as opposed to the tracks. Um, I think the New Holland Smart Tracks are pretty unique and something different. I like them, how they've kind of got a wheel that points up a little bit, gives it a little bit of a different look as opposed to a basic triangle like most manufacturers have. Um, but this one has, like I pointed out before, the mirrors, you know, they're a sticker. And then you got your flashers up here. Um... You know, nice tractor. I collect, uh, as everyone knows that watches these videos, I mainly collect articulated four-wheel drive tractors. I do have a few other 
little things I like to collect green carts and sprayers but uh, my main collection is these full wheel drive tractors so anytime a new one comes out I like to go ahead and get it just to have it because that's you know my main collection points so um, this video is kind of short well actually it's a little over 10 minutes but I hope you enjoyed I hope you come back and watch more videos I'm constantly uploading a on average, I'm averaging out about every five days I upload a video, except for on Sundays I don't upload. I usually upload the day before. Um, but I hope you enjoy watching. Please come back and watch more of my videos. I'm uh, constantly getting new material to review and everything. So um, I hope you enjoyed. Come back and see us again. Have a nice day.